an odyssey to the beyond starting off our expedition was a cold rhythmic evening and a weirdly aggressive night who knew next days were packed with such adventurous adrenaline and folly city feels thoughts stopped forging inside eyes were hard to blink as we came across the shady twilight pines and cold dark cedar woods driving into the sulky wet roads rendezvous with the misty mountains rushing rivers steep ravines and chasmic canyons was clearly ineffable as the hiking started little did we knew we had a day long ahead of us white river was abilitating and the mountains above seem like they're having a sexual intercourse with the breeze covering their top with a sheet of white clouds and the cascades falling down from them seem like an eternal orgasm and drinking water from those cascades was like drinking nectar from my blue lips leaving a hanging cloud of numbness inside the mouth and when i drizzled above the valley it was like music dripping down from the sky the silence was unreal the flower the color mulberry was trying to get to know us next morning we started with the hymn in those cold breeze shivering down the spine until we moved forward and got encountered by such mesmerizing irresistible bewitching and beguiling beauty of those flat and slopey grass pastured banks with several mountain boulders placed perfectly in an ecstatic way sitting in nature's own garden watching those glacier peaks covered with the clouds until a sudden breeze helped them aside reaching the cataract all weary i laid back down underneath the downpour atmosphere looking upwards with rapture it was metamorphosis of the soul and watching everything from up there in the music of that downpour it felt like god himself resides in those mountains